Croatian President Ivo Josipovic has begun a two-day visit to Turkmenistan this morning. He was received by his host, President Gurban Goli Berdi Muhantov. After their meeting, Josipovic said there were opportunities for Croatian companies to find a place for their services and products in the country. Berdi Muhammadov emphasized the possibility of cooperation in the energy sector. Later, a business forum was held at which 17 Croatian companies were represented. And Croatia's president also confirmed today that there was a good chance that German Chancellor Angela Merkel would visit Croatia to attend a gathering of heads of state from the region. The meeting would take place in Dubrovnik in mid-July and is being organized by Josipovic and Slovenian President Borut Paho. Prime Minister Zora Milanovic this morning received Bulgarian Prime Minister Plamen Oreshaski, who is on an official visit to Croatia. Also today, a Croatian-Bulgarian business forum organized by the Croatian Employers Association was held at which 40 or so Croatian and Bulgarian entrepreneurs took part. Oreshaski emphasized that Bulgaria had once again begun to attract foreign investors due to the fact that taxes stood at only 10%. And in recent years, the government had abolished over a hundred bureaucratic obstacles to investment. According to the latest figures from the Croatian Bureau of Statistics, industrial production in Croatia in March has increased for the third consecutive month, something which hasn't happened since the beginning of the recession in 2009. Deputy Prime Minister Branko Grčić said today that this was cause for optimism, but also acknowledged that the Zagreb Economic Institute's downward revision of Croatia's economic growth this year from zero to minus 0.5 percent was realistic. An official investigation against the head of the Croatian tax administration, Nada Chavlovic Smijanec, is likely to go ahead. State prosecutors have accepted the abuse of office and authority charges the police have brought against her. Osiek Tycoon Jelko Binoš is also likely to be investigated in the same case. Prime Minister Zora Milanovic commented today that there had to be strong and convincing evidence to support the charges. Sisak Moslovina County Prefect Marina Lovrich Merzel is to remain in investigative custody for another two months. The Zagreb County Court decided that as Merzel hadn't resigned, there was still a risk that she might try to tamper with witnesses or repeat the alleged crime. Merzel's lawyer confirmed that his client had offered bail of her property and assets, but this had been rejected. And in cultural news, some ancient Roman sculptures have arrived at Zadar's archaeological museum. After 60 years, the statues of Julius Caesar and the Emperor Augustus, which belonged to Zadar University, have now found their permanent home. In sport, Zagreb's Tsibona returned to Zagreb last night after winning the regional ABA League in Belgrade. This evening, there'll be an official ceremony in Zagreb's central square beginning at 8 p.m. Wednesday's forecast calls for changeful and cloudy weather with some sunny periods. There will be some occasional rain with the possibility of rain showers and flash storms in places, especially inland, during the afternoon. On the coast it will be partly sunny with a weak westerly and northwesterly wind. Early morning temperatures are between 8 and 13 degrees Celsius inland, between 11 and 15 degrees on the coast, will give way to the day's highs of between 17 and 22 degrees.